Moi, tu es bien. <laughs> All right, brothers and sisters, thank you for coming out here today to uh, witness uh, my testimony and my baptism. Originally, I'm from Haiti. I grew up Catholic. And uh, coming to the U.S., I uh, was about 16. Um, I didn't go to church. My siblings would go to church. Um, I would stay home. It wasn't my thing. Um, I didn't want to have anything to do with church. But if you were to ask me, I would say that I was a Christian and I was saved. But I didn't know what um, the word saved meant at the time. Um, as time goes on, 2003, another cousin of mine came over a um, visit and she started witnessing to me. She was here for three months. And then during that time, she would say, Wilson, um, you gotta follow Jesus Christ. Without Jesus Christ, if you die, you go into hell. And to me, that was kind of a new idea for me because I had never heard anybody said that before. Yeah, I've had a concept of what, who Jesus Christ was, but I didn't really understand um, the, the why. And then for three months, every night, she would read her Bible, and then um, when we go out, she would say, Wilson, you know, you got to follow Jesus Christ. Without Jesus Christ, when you die, you go to hell. Uh, do you know where you're going? So on and on and on. And then she left, and then I went and bought a Bible and then started looking for church. I didn't know what kind of church to go to, so in that time frame, I started going out. Uh, um, found a church, a Baptist church locally, and um, from there I started learning some truth and fact. But I was just, in my mind I've always had doubts, you know, because um, I didn't go forward, but at one time I would talk to a pastor, and he asked me, do you know what, what does it mean to be saved? I was like, I don't know what it means. And then he called me to a room, and then um, prayed. Now knowing, looking back, it was a sinner's prayer. So I said, okay, now I'm saved, okay. So I would bought a year to get baptized, you know. But then, you know, even right after that, it's always in my mind, am I really saved? So if I watch TV, people would preach on TV, and then they call out, if somebody would call a uh, sinner's prayer, I would go ahead and pray. And I've always put a sinner's prayer whenever I have doubts, because that's what I learned, you know, if you have doubts, you put a sinner's prayer. And so for the longest time, that's what I was doing. And I was still, you know, people who know me, they will say that I was, yeah, I was a nice person, you know, not doing, uh, you know, things out there, but in reality, it's not the big things, it's the little things also that, that, um, that get you, you know? So I had a job where I moved out of state for four years, and then during that time, um, I fell away. Um, I was doing my own thing, um, sin um, in my mind, my heart, even though it was before, but at that time it was m more clear that I was really a sinner, you know? But I didn't, to me, even though I know the Bible says no, but in my mind it wasn't really, how do I put it? I didn't see it for what it is truly. So during the whole time I was sinning, you know, um, lying, you know, in my heart and um, sexual immorality, all of these. So fast forward, came back to Florida, and um, thanks to Shadrach, you know, he was at the house, I forgot how many years um, or months. So every now and then he would talk to me, he would say, man, I found this great church. I mean, no one chatted before, and then I could see there was a difference in chat, you know. And then he was talking about, you know, there's this great church, you gotta come and visit, you know. So I was like, no, 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 no. And then I visited one time in 2011, and then I had to go away for a job, and um, I was gone for like almost a year plus. Came back, and then, um, and then Chad and I start picking up again, you know. Every now and then would ask me a question about my salvation, you know, about uh, my faith. And then the time he would ask me questions, I was like, man, I didn't know this before, you know. And that's for the sinner's prayer. And I thought the sinner's prayer was in the Bible. You know, calling somebody to come forward to the altar, I thought that was, you know, into the Bible. And then I would talk to him, and then he would point out, no, that's not in the Bible. You know, we'll go back and forth. And he was very patient with me. Um, um, like, answer my questions and ask me questions, you know. So from day to day, and then I start realizing, oh man, what I, what I, what I believed before, you know, I, I was wrong. And then for some reason, I feel like I was cheated, like I was I was lied to, you know, have me coming forward and um, um, do a sinner's prayer. And, and then when the Bible, that's not what the Bible teach, you know. So that the process started, um, then fast forward to, then I started reading my Bible and then listening to, my, uh, listening to the Bible. The app. So while traveling from Pensacola area, I was listening to the Bible and somewhere in Revelation. And it seemed like everything started to click, you know. Then I realized that how simple I was, what I deserve, the eternal punishment that I, that, that I deserve. 
And in there, you know, to a revelation, they were saying people, took, even though all those signs happening, nobody repaid, you know. And I was like, man, all this time I covered all those sins, you know. Um, now is the time that I really understand what it means to, to, like, to be a sinner and what, what, what I really deserve. Um, so at that time, you know, I started crying in the car while I was driving. And I was like, no, okay, maybe, maybe um, it's my English, you know, because I didn't speak English when I first came here. So I was like, okay. So I put it in Creole. And then after I was listening to it, I changed it to French, you know. So I was like, maybe. It's, so all those three times, it was like, man, I started realizing, you know, God is merciful to, to send Jesus Christ to, to die for me. You know, like, so who, I, who am I, you know, knowing that how sinful that I am, that God will, will choose me to come to, to call me out to follow him and I look back see he he had uh, my cousin and Chad you know he, he used them to call out to reach out to me so then I started coming to Cor uh, Cornerstone faithfully um, with a group and learning more and reading more and, um, and getting discipled by Ryan you know who's been helping me out um, learning more what God um, um, like, um, is teaching through his word so so I, if I were to say, uh, as far as my conversion, I would say it was around 2014, while I was, was driving, you know, and that's when everything, um, I realized that, you know, where I was, and I would say that's where my conversion is. Um, so, so I've been trying to get baptized. I was supposed to get baptized earlier this year, but I didn't have it. So today I'm here, I'm going to get in the water, and just give you guys um, a heads up. I'm going to ask a strange request. I'm going to ask the pastor. If you could dump me in the water a little bit longer, keep me under a little bit of water, so that way my sin can be washed away. <laughs> so don't don't be all up. He's not trying to kill me anyway. All right, guys. Thank you very much uh, for listening to me. And have a blessed day. Mark Nelson. Yeah. Wilson, based upon your professional faith, uh, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, based upon your evidence and fruitful repentance, and based upon your desire and your commitment to follow Jesus Christ as Lord, in the fellowship of this church, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Five minutes, five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes.